G'day, it's Jamie, and welcome to Tantanula Tigers. Today, I'm reading an old newspaper report about thylacaleo or thylacine shootings at Cardwell, North Queensland, in the early 1900s. So we'll get into it. This was published in Sydney's The Land on Friday, the 11th of February, 1938, titled... In North Queensland jungle lurks mysterious animal that may be worth its weight in gold. Within recent years, there has been so much extensive exploration work done that today very few parts of the world remain unknown to man. As one famous scientist has said, the surface of the globe now offers little scope to the modern adventurer. Despite this, however, there are still a number of animals roaming the little-known parts of the world that have not been yet introduced to science. And although not generally realised, one of the strangest of these uncaptured animals is known to exist in the far northern wilds of this continent, in the jungle country of northern Queensland. This is the mysterious marsupial tiger, an elusive creature, which has been rarely seen and has never been captured alive, while only a few have been shot over the last 30 years. Fruitless search. The first stories concerning the presence of this strange animal came out of the north over 30 years ago, and since then, innumerable scientists and museum collectors from all parts of the world have penetrated the northern wilds in search of the mystery animal, without finding any trace of it. One of the most elaborate expeditions to search for the tiger was organised some years ago by that famous explorer, Sir Hubert Wilkins. But although the expedition combed a large area of jungle, no trace of the animal was found. Now a woman is searching for the strange creature. This is the noted German scientist, Miss G. Neuhauser, who is visiting Australia to collect rare animals and birds for the New York Museum. She is at present working in the far north, where she is making every endeavour to obtain a specimen of the little-known tiger. Worth a fortune. A small fortune awaits the person who is successful in capturing the first live specimen of the rare animal, for there are many museums throughout the world that would willingly pay thousands of pounds for such a fine. As much as 5,000 pounds and 10,000 pounds has been paid in the past for rare animals by overseas museums. But the value of a marsupial tiger would undoubtedly be much greater. This tiger is one of the very few opportunities remaining for enterprising collectors to bring in a rare animal, which, as one scientist has said, would be worth its weight in gold. Bushmen have seen it. What type of animal is this mysterious tiger? There are many well-known bushmen in the north who have seen the animal and described it. It is said to be considerably larger than the common native house cat and is of a yellowish or fawn colour striped like a tiger. The creature is also said to be as fierce as a young tiger. While Aborigines of Northern Queensland wilds have told me that it is one of the most dangerous animals in the North, crocodiles included. When seeking prey, the tiger climbs a tree overhanging an animal track and springs down on the first suitable victim that passes underneath. The natives have told me that the tiger is capable of killing a large kangaroo and that it would not hesitate to attack even a man should he happen to pass underneath the tree in which the animal is waiting for prey. Denzins of the jungle. The mystery animal inhibits, inhabits the dense northern jungles and wild rocky ranges and has been seen on many occasions in the jungle covered mountain ranges of Cape York Peninsula of northern Queensland. In such rugged country, impenetrable to anyone not armed with a chopping knife, the tiger, which is a sly nocturnal animal, 
can easily evade capture. Not even the Aborigines have been successful in capturing one of these rare animals, although on isolated occasions a tiger has been killed. Some years ago, two of the animals were shot while killing calves on a farm on the fringe of Cardwell Jungle Country, North Queensland. This fact was recorded by Mr B.S. Sheridan, a former police magistrate of Cardwell, who was shown the tiger's skins. Will this mystery animal ever be captured? It undoubtedly will someday, for collectors will not rest until it is. Only recently, a specimen of another of the world's mystery animals was captured after scientists and collectors had been striving to obtain one for many years. This is the giant panda, a bear cat of the Chinese mountains. For hundreds of years, this strange animal remained uncaptured. But last year, the first specimen, a baby, was captured alive and taken to the New York Museum there. That's pretty interesting, this. I'm assuming these are thylacoleos, not thylacines, mainly because uh, when they were describing it, they, even though they said it was like a common native cat, but larger, and they said it was a yellow, yellowish or fawn colour and striped like a tiger, the Aborigines say it's as fierce as a young tiger, and even and like they're even scared of that more than crocodiles. But they said when it's seeking its prey, it climbs the tree overhanging an animal track and springs down on the first uh, victim. And they said even it had killed like, large kangaroos and even men. Uh, it's really interesting because that to me sounds like a thylacoleo more than a thylacine. They're saying it's uh, sly and nocturnal and can easily obey capture. And then some years ago, uh, two were shot while killing calves on a farm at Cardwell, North Queensland. And uh, a former police magistrate, Mr B. Sheridan, was shown the tiger skins to prove that they were tigers. So I'd love to know whether they're thylacoleos or thylacines. Okay, that's it for me. I'll get back to you all next time. Bye.